Yo, what's up, cleaners? I played through Carly with um, this Highwayman Tech 9 Pyro type of build here, focused on clearing hordes and stuff. And I actually got my Zwat skin uh, for her. I wish I would have played through the entirety of Act 1 and 2 with this build because it was super fun. It was way more fun than the speed engineer deck I had for her. But uh, I had to share this with you guys. This is the second funnest deck i've had so far aside from the uh, holiday warrior which i made a video about but right off the bat we're going to do ammo stash because we're focused on the tech nine you're not really going to use your primary then we need highway man to produce the molotovs we're going to take double grenade pouch so we can hold more molotovs for the choke point um, areas and then we're going to buff the heck out of the tech nine as much as we can with silver bullets large caliber rounds we're going to throw on pyro early on and then we're going to take canned goods before we take glass cannon that's in the middle of the deck but a must have to like i said buff the crap out of the tech nine uh, we're going to take improvised explosives that buffs the molotovs surplus pouches so we can hold another one mag carrier for extra damage and uh we don't need the ammo capacity from that but anyway the extra damage with smgs helps combat training cold brew coffee just for extra reload speed aim speed weapon swap and use speed shredder uh, you can actually move Shredder before combat training if you wanted to. And then I just threw on Energy Drink for some extra stamina uh, and move speed while firing. A little slow resistance. and uh, But honestly, Energy Drink is interchangeable with something. If you guys feel like something else fits a little bit better, uh, there are a couple of cards here that are interchangeable to your play style. But I'm going to go ahead and use um, T5 as an example here just because it's basically an infinite choke point and it's perfect for what this build um, it's supposed to do it's a perfect example for how to use this build so basically uh, like i said the tech nine is your weapon of choice do not get rid of the tech nine if you get rid of the tech nine this you're basically screwing the whole build here um, and you're really not going to use a primary unless you're being chased by say a mutation like a tall boy or something and you just need that extra damage because the uh, primary smg is going to do a little bit more damage uh, you're not going to want to use Carly's AK, so try to switch it out with an SMG as soon as you can. And upgraded Tech 9s are even better if you can get a hold of a green, blue, or maybe even a purple one. Uh, try to do that as soon as possible. Maybe even use an SMG burn card from uh, Dusty's Customs if you have to until you get a better Tech 9. Because the sooner you get a better Tech 9, the better. You can literally kill common infect or common, common ridden in one to two bullets with the tech nine um once we have it upgraded if it's white so if you upgrade the tech nine yourself as well on top of all of our card upgrades you're going to be one shotting common ridden with the tech nine uh without having to get a headshot so that's super 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 important um that you upgrade the tech nine as soon as you can because it just makes this build all the more fun and it has a super fast fire rate meaning if a horde is coming at you you can just spray and pray to God that you don't die, but you're you're gonna shred them. I mean, let's be honest here. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, and gas tanks. Gas tanks are your best friend. So uh, in a mission like this, round up all the gas tanks. Usually on T5, your choke point's gonna want to be the stairs. Uh, we do throw a turret in the doorway just to block mutations there, so we're not getting overran. But I have played this without throwing a turret there. And uh, we did just fine with this build. So that's uh, totally up to you whether or not you want to place the turret in the doorway. Some people might call it cheesy. Honestly, it's a game mechanic. So like, oh, well, I, some mutations are going to come through the window anyway. Um, but a lot of tall boys and stuff, it kind of helps stick them there. So, yeah, round up the gas tanks and just make sure you've always got a gas tank at a choke point if possible. And once we start running out of gas tanks, we're just going to start throwing these Molotovs. Um, now it's kind of important that you get most of the common ridden kills, um, unless you're playing with say a gym that's going to want the extra stack, uh, bonus from kills. Uh, hopefully you're not really playing with anybody that needs common ridden kills. Um, uh, but the more you get, the more Molotovs you get basically, or more chance you have of dropping more Molotovs anyway. So. Uh, if anybody's ever holding any Molotovs, make sure they're handing them over. You might even come to a time or two where you have too many Molotovs and can't pick up anymore, but there's maybe one or two on the ground. Just ask politely if someone else will hold them for you until uh, until it's needed. But you can see here they're actually throwing me the gas tanks because they see how important it is. And the temp health from 
fire damage is a huge deal. Um, so if you're, you know, surrounded, you can literally just throw Molotov at your feet. Even if it causes you a little burn damage, all the kills are going to fix you right up. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's honestly, this, this, this is the second most fun I've had running through Nightmare. Um, my first, like the most fun I've had is the, uh, is the uh, razor wire combat knife build that I made for Holly. And if you guys want to see that build, oh my, it's basically a whole meme, guys. Like, it was made as a joke, and I ended up running through the entire game with the build and had the most fun. You're basically producing combat or razor wire everywhere you go. You don't even need to use your melee weapon. You can literally just use um, your combat knife and keep a weapon in your hand to do extra damage. I prefer doing a shotgun, but this isn't a video about that build. If you guys do want to see that build, go check out that video I made. It's called Holiday Warrior. Not Holiday, but Holiday. Holiday Warrior. It is a combat knife razor wire build, and you basically just produce razor wire to hold any checkpoint and any horde. You can just sit there and melee. You've got infinite stamina. You've got infinite razor wire, and the combat knife is so OP that you're just melting hordes for your team but i wouldn't necessarily rock somebody using the mugger card or a build i wouldn't rock a build like that um with a build like this because both of them are basically horde clearing builds and you don't really want two people focused on common ridden uh it's a lot better to have uh or replace one of those with uh a dps so you can have as many dps as possible i i honestly like running a dps over medic um, just for that extra damage. That extra damage usually is going to negate the healing that a doc has to do anyway. So if uh, if there's ever a chance to run three DPS and then a common horde clear, that's my uh, that's my preference. But I know everybody. There's always going to be somebody that wants to be a healer because it. I don't know. It's something about healing and keeping the team alive is just kind of fun. It's a neat idea. Honestly, I rocked a doc a lot when i first started playing the game but then i started to realize you know if i was a dps or if i had extra damage i wouldn't actually need to heal the team as much as i do i could just help shred mutations before they actually get to the team uh, tall boys usually being the biggest damage dealer uh, stingers hurt really bad yes but they are squishy so you don't necessarily need damage to kill them um, but yeah, anyway, that I got off topic. F feel free to check out my channel if you guys want to see other builds. Uh, I am working on a Grenadier deck for Hoffman. Everybody needs to have a Grenadier deck because there are certain checkpoints like Herald of the Worm where you just have to have a Grenadier specced fully into grenades to melt those bosses. Uh, we have a primary speedrunner. Now speedrunning, some people might say speedrunning is cheesy, uh, which sure it is, maybe. I don't know. It's fun to be a speedrunner. But I enjoy playing the game slowly with the team because I like the extra uh, cooperativeness of the game. Um, prefer over, you know, speed running. But anyway, go check out my channel if you guys want to see those videos. I am making a uh, bunch of walkthroughs as well where I'm actually using these builds. Uh, so hopefully you guys get something out of this video in my channel. And I will catch you guys on the flip flop.